In the forest deep, where shadows play. Under the silver moon's enchanting sway. We gather round the ancient oak. Whispering secrets no mortal shall poke. Gnarled roots beneath, tangled and deep. Awaken now from your long sleep. Earth and water, fire and air. Forth, heed our witch's prayer. By candle's light and cauldron's flame. We call upon the ancient names. Goddess of the moon, keeper of the tides. Guide us through the mystic. Power of the stars, energy untamed. Weave your magic, never to be tamed. Heed our words, our will be done. As above, so below, the circle is spun. Witches dance, in the moon's soft glow. Ancient magic, deep below. Chanting spells of power and light. Into the veil, we take flight. By ancient craft and sacred rite. We conjure magic in the night. So mote it be, our souls ignite. In this realm of ancient might. In the heart of a secluded village and nestled deep in the forest lived a powerful witch named Serafina. Despite her formidable magic abilities, she was feared and shunned by the villagers because of a dark curse that plagued their lands. Crops withered, animals fell ill, and shadows loomed the once lively community. Determined to uncover the truth behind the cursed affliction, Serafina embarked on a perilous quest that would test her powers like never before. Armed with her trusty staff and a relentless determination, Serafina set out into the unknown depths of the forest in search of answers. Along her journey, she encountered strange creatures and dark spirits that tried to thwart her at every turn. But with a fierce resolve burning in her eyes, she pushed forward, driven by a desire to lift the curse and restore peace to her village. As she delved deeper into the mysteries of the curse, Serafina discovered shocking truths about her own past and the betrayal of someone she once trusted. The revelation shook her to the core, but instead of faltering, she embraced the new knowledge and used it to fuel her quest for redemption. With newfound purpose, she continued on, her magic growing stronger with every step. At the heart of the forest, Serafina finally came face to face with the source of the curse, a vengeful spirit that had been wronged years ago and sought to bring destruction upon the village. With compassion in her heart and a flicker of understanding, Serafina challenged the spirit, using her magic to break the curse and release the land from its grip. As the curse lifted and the village began to heal, the villagers saw Serafina in a new light, not as a feared witch, but as a savior who had risked everything to protect them. And though her quest had been fraught with danger and betrayal, Serafina emerged stronger and wiser, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. And so, the powerful witch who had once been shunned now stood as a beacon of hope and redemption, her magic forever intertwined with the fate of the village she had sworn to protect. And as the sun set over the forest, casting a golden glow upon the land, Serafina knew that her journey was far from over, but she faced it with a newfound strength and resilience that would guide her through any darkness that may come. The Cauldron of Enchanted Dreams In the mystical realm of Bradgate, nestled deep within the ancient whispering woods, there stood a grand castle that housed the most powerful coven of witches and wizards known to man. At the heart of their magical abode sat the legendary Cauldron of Enchanted Dreams, a vessel of immense power that held the key to shaping the destinies of all who dwelled in the realm. The Cauldron of Enchanted Dreams was said to grant its user the ability to see into the future, manipulate time and space, and even bend the very fabric of reality to their will. But with great power came great responsibility, for the Cauldron's magic was capable of both immense good and unspeakable evil. One fateful night, a young witch named Alara ventured into the depths of the Whispering Woods in search of the Cauldron of Enchanted Dreams. Drawn by whispers on the wind and visions in her dreams, she knew that the Cauldron held the answers to her deepest desires. As Alara stood before the shimmering Cauldron, she felt its power pulsating through her very being. With trembling hands, she reached out and touched the surface, sending ripples of magic cascading through the air. The cauldron came to life, its contents swirling and shifting with a mesmerizing dance of colors and lights. In that moment, Alara was granted a vision of her future, a glimpse into the path that awaited her. But as she peered deeper into the cauldron's depths, she saw the dangers that lay ahead, 
the darkness that threatened to consume her soul if she gave in to the temptation of its power. Determined to use the cauldron's magic for good, Alara vowed to protect the realm from those who sought to harness its power for their own nefarious purposes. But as the days passed and the cauldrons grew stronger, Alara found herself caught in a web of deception and betrayal. Whispers of a rival coven seeking to steal the cauldron's power reached Alara's ears, and she knew that a battle was looming on the horizon. With the fate of Bradgate hanging in the balance, Alara must harness the full extent of the Cauldron of Enchanted Dreams magic to protect her home and those she held dear. As the final showdown approached, Alara stood before the Cauldron once more, her heart filled with determination and courage. With a flick of her wrist, she unleashed the full force of the Cauldron's magic, casting a spell so powerful that it reverberated through the very foundations of the realm. In a blinding flash of light, the rival coven was vanquished, their evil intentions thwarted by Alara's unwavering resolve. And as the dust settled and the echoes of the battle faded into the night, Alara knew that the Cauldron of Enchanted Dreams would forever be safeguarded by those who understood its true power, a power that could shape the destinies of all who dared to dream. The Lore of the Owl In a secluded clearing deep in the heart of the Enchanted Forest, a group of witches gathered under the full moon to perform powerful ritual. As they chanted incantations and danced fervently around a flickering bonfire, a hush fell over the trees, and a majestic owl swooped down from the shadows above. The witches gasped in awe as the owl landed gracefully in the center of their circle, its piercing golden eyes glowing with ancient wisdom. The owl spread its wings, and a gentle breeze stirred the air, carrying it a sense of awe and reverence. I am Athena, the guardian of this forest, the owl spoke in a voice that echoed with magic. I have watched over you, witches, for you hold within you the same ancient power that courses through the veins of this forest. The witches exchanged glances, feeling the weight of Athena's words settle upon their shoulders. They knew they were in the presence of a being of great power, and they dared not question her. Athena beckoned the witches closer, her eyes locking with each of theirs in turn. You seek answers, do you not? she asked, her voice soft yet commanding answers to the mysteries that surround you, to the magic that flows through your very beings. The witches nodded, their hearts racing with anticipation. They had long felt the pull of something greater than themselves, something that whispered of untold secrets and hidden truths. With a sweep of her wing, Athena conjured a shimmering vision before the witches' eyes. They gasped as they beheld the history of their lineage, their ancestors weaving spells and casting charms that shaped the very fabric of the world. As the vision faded, Athena fixed the witches with a knowing gaze. You are the keepers of a legacy as old as time itself, she intoned. Embrace your powers, wield them with reverence and respect, and you will unlock the true potential of your magic. With a final rustle of her feathers, Athena took flight, disappearing into the darkness of the forest. The witches were left in awe, their hearts brimming with newfound purpose and determination. As they returned to their homes, the witches carried with them the wisdom of the owl, the promise of ancient powers awakening within them. And as they continued to hone their craft, they knew that they would forever be bound to the mystical owl who had shown them the true depths of their magic. For in the heart of the enchanted forest, among the whispering trees and shimmering moonlight, the witches had found the key to unlocking the mysteries of their own souls. And with every spell they cast, every incantation they uttered, they paid homage to the mystical owl who had revealed to them the true power of their witchcraft. The Black Cat and the Rising Moon In the heart of a mystical forest, under the eerie glow of a full moon, stood a small cottage shrouded in mystery and ancient magic, a wise old witch known as Morgana brewed potions and cast spells with the helper loyal companion, a mischievous black cat named Jinx. One fateful night, as the moon rose high in the sky, a powerful sorcerer named Lucian appeared at the doorstep of Morgana's cottage. He had come seeking a rare and powerful artifact rumored to be hidden deep within the forest. With a glint in his eyes, Lucian demanded that Morgana hand over the artifact or face his wrath. Unwilling to part with the artifact that held such immense power, Morgana refused to comply with Lucian's demands. Enraged, the sorcerer unleashed a powerful spell, causing the ground to shake and the walls of the cottage to tremble. As the tension between the two magical beings reached its peak, Jinx leaped to Morgana's defense, 
his fur bristling and his eyes glowing with determination. With a flick of her wrist, Morgana sent a burst of energy hurtling towards Lucian, forcing him to retreat into the shadows of the forest. But the danger was far from over. As the black cat and the wise witch stood together, a piercing scream echoed through the forest, sending shivers down their spines. The ground beneath their feet began to crack and split, and a dark, swirling portal emerged, its ominous presence filling the air with a sense of dread. With a look of determination, Morgana knew what she had to do. Drawing upon all her magical power, she channeled a spell of protection, surrounding herself and Jinx with a shimmering barrier of light. As the portal threatened to consume them, the wise witch and her loyal companion stood their ground, facing the darkness with unwavering resolve. In a flash of blinding light, the portal collapsed in on itself, leaving behind only a faint whisper of magic in its wake. The forest fell silent, and the moon shone down upon Morgana and Jinx, illuminating their faces with a serene glow. As the night drew to a close and the sun began to rise, Morgana and Jinx knew that they had faced a great evil and emerged victorious. With a grateful smile, the wise witch placed a gentle hand on Jinx's sleek fur, knowing that their bond would forever protect them from the darkness that lurked in the shadows. And so, under the watchful gaze of the rising sun, Morgana, Jinx, and the mystical forest found peace once more, their magic intertwining like the threads of a spell, weaving a tale of courage, loyalty, and the enduring power of light in the face of darkness. He Valley of the Golden Dragon In the heart of a forgotten land, nestled between towering mountains and dense forests, lay a mysterious valley known as the Valley of the Golden Dragon. Legend had it that within this valley resided a powerful being, a golden dragon said to possess ancient magic and wisdom beyond imagination. A group of witches, drawn by tales of the valley's enchantments, set out on a daring journey to uncover its secrets. Among them was Alara, a young witch with a fierce determination and a thirst for adventure. She was joined by her mentor, the wise and mysterious Serafina, and their fellow coven members, each possessing their own unique abilities and talents. As they traversed the treacherous terrain of the valley, they encountered strange creatures and bewitching landscapes that seemed to shift and change before their very eyes. But despite the dangers that lurked around every corner, the witches pressed on, drawn by an unseen force that beckoned them deeper into the heart of the valley. As they ventured further into the valley, they came upon a temple shrouded in mist and mystery. Within its walls, they discovered ancient runes that spoke of the golden dragon and its connection to the land. It was said that the dragon's power lay dormant, waiting for those brave enough to awaken it and harness its magic for themselves. Determined to uncover the truth behind the legend, Elara and her companions embarked on a quest to find the golden dragon. They faced trials and tribulations along the way, testing their courage and strength as they delved deeper into the valley's secrets. Finally, after much hardship and perseverance, they came face to face with the golden dragon itself. As it emerged from the shadows, its scales gleaming in the sunlight, the witches felt a surge of power and wonder unlike anything they had ever experienced before. The golden dragon imparted its wisdom to them, revealing the true purpose of the valley and the role they were destined to play in its fate. With newfound knowledge and strength, the witches vowed to protect the valley and its inhabitants from harm, using their magic for the greater good. And so, the witches of the Valley of the Golden Dragon became legends in their own right, revered for their bravery and determination in the face of darkness. The valley thrived once more, its magic restored and its secrets safeguarded by those who had unlocked its true potential. As they bid farewell to the Golden Dragon and the valley that had forever changed them, Alara and her companions knew that their journey was far from over. But with the knowledge and magic they had gained, they were ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead, united in their bond and their shared destiny as wielders of ancient power. The Mirror of Lost Souls In the heart of the enchanted forest, where the shadows danced with dark secrets and the moon whispered of magic, there lived a young witch named Alara. She was known for her wisdom beyond her years and her uncanny ability to control the elements with a mere flick of her wrist. But despite her formidable powers, Alara was plagued by a deep sense of emptiness that gnawed at her soul. One fateful, as a silver mist descended upon the forest, Alara stumbled upon a hidden clearing where a mirror, 
its frame carved with intricate symbols and shimmering with an otherworldly glow. Intrigued by its mesmerizing beauty, Alara approached the mirror and gazed into its depths. As she peered into the mirror, a wave of icy dread washed over her. For in its reflective surface, Alara beheld not her own reflection, but the true essence of her soul. It was a jarring sight, for she saw her innermost fears, desires, and sins laid bare before her eyes. Her heart hammered in her chest as she watched in horror as visions of darkness and destruction unfolded before her. The mirror revealed the depths of her ambition and the shadows of her past, casting a harsh light on her innermost struggles and flaws. Desperate to break free from the mirror's grip, Alara stumbled backwards, trembling with fear and uncertainty. She knew that the mirror held a power beyond her wildest dreams, but she also understood the danger that lurked within its depths. As the night wore on, Alara grappled with her inner demons and wrestled with the dark truths that the mirror had revealed. She felt the weight of her choices and the echoes of her past sins pressing down upon her, threatening to consume her whole. But in the quiet moments of reflection and contemplation, Alara found a glimmer of hope amidst the chaos. She realized that the mirror was not a curse, but a gift, a tool that could guide her towards a path of redemption and self-discovery. With newfound resolve, Alara vowed to use the mirror's revelations to mend the fractures within her soul and embrace her true destiny as a guardian of the forest and its magic. She understood that the mirror of lost souls was not a curse, but a beacon of truth that could illuminate her path towards self-acceptance and inner peace. And so, Alara ventured forth into the night, her heart filled with determination and her spirit ablaze with newfound purpose. For she knew that the mirror had shown her the way to her true self, and she was ready to embrace the journey ahead, no matter where it may lead. As the mist lifted and the dawn broke over the forest, a lone figure could be seen standing before the mirror, their reflection shimmering with newfound resolve and inner strength. And in that moment, the mirror of lost souls whispered of a tale of redemption, transformation, and the enduring power of the human spirit. The Mischievous Broomstick In a quaint little village nestled in the rolling hills of a magical land, lived a mischievous broomstick named Woody. Unlike the other broomsticks in the village, Woody had a personality all of his own. He was known for playful nature and tendency to cause trouble wherever he went. One sunny day, as the village woke up to the sound of birds chirping and the sweet scent of blooming flowers, Woody decided it was the perfect day for mischief. With a mischievous twinkle in his eye, he zoomed the village square, knocking over flower pots and teasing the other magical beings who lived there. The villagers grumbled and shook their heads at Woody's antics, but secretly they couldn't help but be amused by the broomstick's adventurous spirit. Some even found themselves laughing at his pranks, unable to resist his infectious energy. But Woody's antics didn't go unnoticed by the village elders. The wise old wizard, Merlin, had been keeping a close watch on the mischievous broomstick. He knew that Woody meant well, but his impulsive behavior could sometimes lead to trouble. One day, when Woody accidentally knocked over a potion bottle in Merlin's workshop, chaos ensued. The potion spilled onto the floor, creating a swirling vortex of color and light that threatened to engulf the entire village. The villagers panicked, unsure of what to do as the magical energy grew stronger by the minute. Seeing the chaos he had caused, Woody knew he had to make things right. With a determined glint in his eye, he swooped in and flew around the vortex, using his magical powers to contain the energy and prevent any harm from coming to the village. With a final burst of energy, Woody managed to seal the vortex and save the village from disaster. The villagers cheered and applauded the brave broomstick, grateful for his quick thinking and heroic actions. From that day on, Woody was no longer seen as just a mischievous troublemaker. He was hailed as a hero, respected and admired by all who knew him. And though he still loved a good prank now and then, Woody had learned the true value of responsibility and courage. As the sun set over the village, casting a warm glow over the cobblestone streets and thatched roofs, Woody soared through the sky, feeling proud and content. He had found his place in the magical world, and he knew that no matter what adventures lay ahead, he would always be ready to face them with a mischievous grin and a heart full of courage. You've been listening to Witches Story Tales The Book of Shadows Stories by Butch Leek 
For more of our stories and podcast log into our website at www.clubhousepodcastradiotoday.com. For printed books, visit www.blurb.com slash user slash Ventura 11. My name is Olivia. Thank you for stopping in.